And a very good afternoon to everyone uh, who's were present over here. And indeed, my pleasure to be with you, I think, uh, fourth or fifth time and uh, discussing the issues related to the financial aspects. Thank you, Madhya, sir. Thank you very much. I've been assigned a topic of uh, financial management in a small scale industry. So when I was pondering over the audience, I was trying to find out uh, who would be the audience to whom I had to address. So I was informed the faculty members would be the ones who would be the crucial factors in disseminating the knowledge to the students, as well as there may be some of the students who may indeed, uh, they would love to listen the lectures in order to, you know, set up their own ventures as and when, you know, the scenario is as like that youngsters are coming as the entrepreneurs in a much bigger way. So we will be starting with the, uh, when I was preparing this, uh, material so i was thinking what is the basic question which everybody wants so starting of the ppt is basic question of every aspirant and every aspirant want paisa kahan se aayega that's all that's all about where from the money would flow and as and when they would feel to start the business they think okay money where from i would get money and itna paisa lagega and he thinks no it's not worthwhile i can't go ahead I'm going to ask another question. This is not paisa kahan se aayega. Question is, why should you be given finances? If I have money and somebody wants money, the question is, why should I give my money to him? There must be some objective behind. There must be some convincing power that he should convince me. Yahan paisa lagaiye, you will get benefit. So this question is not from paisa kahan dega. From the angle, the paisa kahan se aayega. Why should I give you my money, the most lovable asset of the world? Everybody talks about the money. So this is important. So when I wanted, uh, this is an indirect answer to the question. That question is paisa kahan se aayega. But before paisa, we need to have a justification that why one should give you the money. And the basic question is the answer here. That's called financial feasibility. Here comes the financial feasibility of your idea, which you want to pursue as a business destination. I am a student. I would like, uh, I, I had an idea and I would like to commercialize the idea. I don't have the money. So I would be asking somebody, you know, where from I can get money. So I would go somebody, why should I give you the money? So I must have something in hand with me to give him a convincing position that this is my plan. My plan is so, you know, reality to the market. And when he is convinced, yes, it's all true, true related to the market, then only you would be given money. Most of us or most of the students, whenever they believe to start a venture, they don't make their, you know, project report strong. They don't make their fundamental strong ki business ke aspects kya hai. Wo sirf ye dekhte hai, opportunity hai, marketability hai, that's all. Opportunity or marketability ke saath saath, there are so many things which one needs to understand before starting a venture. So the basic idea I have discussed here, estimating the cost of the product that's called financial requirement to start the venue and venture. And the second is potential market for your product with evidences, something on papers, through reports, ideas, articles, or any changing pattern of society, which really convinces. I'm just sharing, uh, since my colleague faculty members are sitting with me. So I was sharing, I'm just sharing a small incident. I wanted, uh, I thought to write a book. So when I was going through, so I thought to write, a, you know, associated with Magra Hills or uh, Oxford or the other ones, <laughs> the big names. The moment I entered my mail ID, um, uh, dropped a mail to their inbox and they came back to me with a reply. What is the marketability of your product? The first basic question. It means I immediately realized that, okay, they were ready to finance. They are ready to publish my article, my book. But the only question they're asking marketability, what will they get once they invest in your book? Similar is a small scale industry, small scale unit. Why one would invest you? And if he wants to invest, he would identify there would be some return and that return should not be a small return. That return should be a huge return. Uh, 
I'm just linking it with the financial aspects. Uh, there are three types of companies uh, in the stock market. One is called uh, blue chip companies. One is called mid cap. One is called small caps. This is cap ref refers to the capitalization, the amount invested. And the most of the times the amount made by the investors is the one those who have caught the train early. Those who have caught the train early refers to those who have invested in the growing business at the very first time. Means when it's a baby, it's a small baby, the business is a small baby. Still a lot of things are yet to be, you know, uh, achieved expansion hoga, growth hoga, but it's a small baby boon. So everybody won't think about kiska future kya hai. But there are few intelligent people. They believe that there is a lot of future in this. Despite of no name, despite of no fame, they try to invest. So when they invest their money and the moment it becomes successful, you all know. What the share ka price is 10 ka hota hai, wo 50 pe jata hai. And five times you made it. Why you made it? Because you caught the train early. Caught the train refers to that you invested in the right project. And that right project investment is the most important idea. That's what I am asking. If you are really interested, the first thing is we need to understand financial requirement kya hai. Fir paise ki baat mein, uske baad mera second question hoga, paisa kahan se aasakta hai. I've just given a draft of the project report for the knowledge. It talks about background of the business. This business belongs to which? Will there be any scope or not? Like if I talk about these days, uh, I'm talking about LCDs. Nobody is going to buy LEDs and then more high technology. I, I, I would be back talking about something which is redundant in the past. I can't go for, you know, asking somebody ki paisa laga do. Customer's profile, who will buy? There are schools these days, uh, Kidzi or some other schools like that. You want their franchisee, they say, okay, we will give you the franchisee, but uh, give us the idea where you want to let it, uh, you know, your location. And once your location is clear, they go for the survey. How many families are residing, their, uh, you know, profile, age profile, income profile, are the children the young ones or the big ones or the small ones and so forth. Because Kirji is mostly related to the children. We all know small kids. So they identify whether there is a scope. If there is a scope, they will ask, okay, we go for the franchisee, agreed, you can open. Otherwise, they will say, no, thank you very much. This is not the appropriate place where you are going to open. You need to shift your place. That's what is this ground study. Ground study refers to customer profile. Customer hai par. For them, child may be a customer. Customer to huna chahiye. Long term and short term corporate objectives. What do you want with your business? Do you really want to just take it to a one step ahead and then finish? Facebook initiated in the beginning. Now Facebook have made purchases over the period. Purchases made him in a big giant. Agar was sirf Facebook pe rata, it would have been difficult. But Seb was bought by them. And then so mergers, so acquisitions. The objective was business mein rehna hai. Long term ke liye rehna hai. What I'm saying is I'm not talking about the big profiles. I'm talking about since we are related to the SSI, small sector units. So the question comes, aapka objective growth ka hai ya nahi hai? Or impression banta hai ki whether you are really interested to go with your business or a short term business. Hai. Nobody would invest. Yes, some people may invest those who really want for short term period. And then the most important viability assessment of the proposed new business idea. Viability refers to chalega ya nahi chalega. There are sometimes, you know, I went for uh, a business where the government is against for. And I, I went for a particular idea where the government policy is not allowing me. I'm sorry, despite of the best ideas, best things, but policy is not supporting me. The things won't be work, won't work. So, paisa lagana, mujhe ye sochna padega whether viability hai, nahi hai. Third, next comes to be able to prepare a relevant business plan. Business plan refers to chucking out from the beginning till the end. And you have to first convince yourself. My business plan is a wonderful plan. And after that, you have to convince the person who is going to fund. So here I'm talking about you want a business, you want money. First, you convince yourself. Mera sab kuch ready hai. I'm really convinced this would work. To recognize fundamental startup issues. Fundamental startup issues are so many. I'm going to discuss further on. I'm just giving, naming something. Financial is the core. Technology is the second. 
management is the third and the basic and the important one i think the last class was hr class that is called hr people are there with us but they are not really interested to so our whole business will collapse reason behind hr issues are there in the organization then i'm just reading it for a kind of knowledge uh, market analysis what is the market what kind of the people like in india if we talk about 2020 we we all we are known for youngistan word youngistan what for youngistan the reason behind the age right now in this country is the average age around 35 so youngistan refers to there are more more young people are there so i am focusing a business idea my business idea should be focused on youngsters rather than on somebody else that is a kind of idea you may have a different at thinking as per the product as per the thought process nowadays uh, what i was finding out there are some businesses they are saying you need not to do anything we will provide you everything at home but everything would be at premium but the prices would also be premium so they are gaming it because youngsters elite class youngsters earning higher they don't bother about paying much of them uh, you know how much amount you are charging but they are worried about the class they are worried about the gestures they are worried about the knowledge they are worried about the latest technology everything should be that so most of the people are putting themselves in that area and making good bucks good money then we have market description reasons for starting business in a particular market target clients advantages of the services offered by new business uh, i shared uh, i share with you in chandigarh there is a lot of business of pgs plus food why because is it's an educational hub youngsters uh, the people identify that youngsters are worried about the good food where from do they get good food they don't have the tiffin proper system now in every sector there is a lot of tiffin services and flourishing like anything and they have just kept the cook now and they are just only for supplying the only thing is they identified the demand and it would remain educational hub it would remain their business be keep on growing now they have gone for preparing a website and they are asking you don't need to give us a call you just order online give us the address and the food would be reached at your home payment afterwards why because they don't want to play for one day payment they say okay food is not good you deny that food don't take the food we won't charge any money only this is this helps them to catch the customer customer says okay that time it was not good they did not take the money slowly and slowly their customer base is increasing and that's what where i want to talk about reason for starting business in a particular market and this market is the especially the youngsters target client kon hoga advantages offered of the, you know the services offered by the business market consumption patterns kya hai like market consumption pattern if you all and you know uh, all we all do this we all go to the Uh, good malls good shops and we don't bother about buying around 1 to 2000 anything shirt or trouser or something 2000 is a small one it's a, it's a normal kind of a feeling why it's a kind of a consumption pattern so when you are going to start you have to identify kaun se pattern ko pakad raha hu main so that your pattern once is clear you can similarly identify the focus of the people then we have market consumption uh, past and existing supply location production prospects and the limitations export and imports price structure flexibility of the demand client behavior purposes intentions supply network and marketing rules everything related to the marketing aspects production aspects and then comes to the financial aspect now we need to assess the financial paisa kitna lagega i'm just talking about a simple any kind of a simple business we need to hire a shop we need to require the production equipments we need to hire the people we need to have the supply chain so that cheez khareed ke sale ho jaye and then we need to have some money in order to have to run the house to run the shop i just always say paise ki assessment we all teachers how do we do i would get this much amount in the beginning of the month and i have to run the full month how to run that full month is called my planning and this planning is the same planning you want to start the business kitna paisa kahan kahan lagega you need that money and there is called fixed money one is called rotational money to which we say working capital rotational money refers to it needs every month salary is needed to be given every month 
production you are making sales out of that your production you need to hire the you know raw material you need to take the raw material something so again and again you need to have this money this is called working capital or rotational money investment expenditure value of the entire project kitne ka padega so that you can assess somebody ki bhaiya 2 crore ka hai 4 crore ka hai 10 crore ka hai method of investment how money would come this is a right uh, discussion i will be making after in my next slides this is a kind of a basic fundamental feeling that when we say sic start karna hai financial ass assessment karna hai assessment kaise hoga then anticipated productivity investment value estimated financial ranking marketing assessment product price place location uh, i'm just sharing with you there are um, uh, two words one is called cost uh, cost based pricing and one is called price based costing what earlier used to be business production karta hai provide uh, prepares a product and it says i will sell it of rupees 10 in the market 8 rupees ka mujhe pada 2 rupees mera profit 10 rupees i will you know sell it to the market that is called cost led pricing okay price decided by whom my cost nowadays it doesn't work why because everybody has the similarity homogeneity of the product sare product ek jaise hain aap 10 ka bechoge market mein 9 wala hai your product would be out now the thing is price based costing price led costing means 9 rupees the price i need to sell it at 830 okay 2 rupees is my profit so what should be my cost Six rupees and thirty paise or fifty paise. Can I prepare? Can I make my product in this amount? It's all right. Otherwise, it may be tough for your business to grow in the future, and then you will have a stiff competition. This is to be thought. Ideas are there, but the question comes: existing competitors get ne hai, or uske baad wale competitors get ne hai? Because baad wale bhi aayenge. Existing all pay. Aapke pas already hai, so you need to fight. Fight ke liye kahi baar you need to have extra money as well. प्राइसिस को गिराना पड़ता है एफर्ट्स को बढ़ाना पड़ता है मार्केट के अंदर वैल्यू को बढ़ाने के लिए एडवर्टीजमेंट ज्यादा करनी पड़ती है देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स विच वन नीड्स टू यू नो डू इन फ्यूचर ऑपरेशनल प्लान्स, बिजनेस मॉडल्स प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज फाइनेंशियल प्लान मैनेजमेंट स्वॉट तो हम सभी जानते हैं स्वॉट एनालिसिस स्ट्रेंथ वीकनेस अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड थ्रेट माई बिजनेस प्लान इज देयर what are its strength i may be a good cook that's why my pg services good food i may be provide i am i may be providing what is my weakness i can supply only to the 20 people not more than 20 people opportunity there is a last vast untapped uh, people who want to eat my food and there is a threat threat is that the probable new people can you know come up in the market and they can uh, you know just capture my market what i need to do how can i increase my you know business value how can i do this how much money do i need so everything has to be taken care of before you start this is the second question where from finances be made available paisa kahan se aayega a simple question of everyone who would like to start a ssi small scale industrial unit but beforehand we need to be prepared that my homework is complete i always say the moment we step into any business venture business venture is not a child's play we need to prepare and i say preparation is one thing commitment is second thing and third is called convincing are you really convinced ki main ye jo plan banaya hai wo chalega we all know about infosys 1984 1983 1984 this is written by Sat narayan murthy ji himself in his biography he said this was a time when all my partners were ready to quit but i wanted not to quit our business was in a downtown and we were really thinking we were the four engineers and we were really thinking it's hard to run the business right now because the situations were worst and after that it identified he said okay i won't quit whosoever would like to quit it's all your wish and that was a point that you are convinced the point was not this quit kyun nahi kiya point was unko pata tha ki ye business chalega convincing power hamare mein kitna hai that is more important so if you are convinced you will really find somebody jo paisa lagayega ab paisa kaun laga sakta hai where from finances be made available government agencies are there i think all of us have heard their names most important is said be small industries development bank of india provides you and if you go to them and they would ask few questions and all these few questions are related to project report 
all these few questions would be related to the financial viability of the project and because he is a bank every bank wherever you go they will be asking you project report and if your project report is really worthwhile they will definitely give you but the question comes project report convincing hai ki nahi hai we have industrial financial corporation of india our our system of india is like this center level we have financial corporation state level we have financial corporation district level we have corporations this is called ifc then sfc then dfc इंडस्ट्रियल सेंटर से आ गया एस एफ सी स्टेट का हो गया डी एफ सी डिस्ट्रिक्ट का हो गया एंड देर इज अटर प्रिपेयर योर आइडिया गिव टू दैम एंड इफ इट क्वालिफाइज थिंक टैंक्स आर सेटिंग जॉब इज ओवर कमर्शियल बैंक दे आर डूइंग अ लॉट फॉर द बिजनेस वी ऑल नो कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी सेट अप बाय द गवर्नमेंट इन दिस स्मॉल विलेजेस इफ इफ we all know about uh, there are they provide the loans like buffaloes ke liye loan hai you know uh, dairy farms ke liye loan hai there are small small requirements and these cooperative societies do help and they provide the loans and uh, and easy uh, you know pay back system and they support us question again comes idea is convincing or not then we have venture capitalist i would discuss it uh, in detail a little uh, venture capitalists are the ones those who have the surplus money and they are ready to invest the money but they say why should i invest in your business convince me and they love to they have the money for this only investment only we call them venture capitalist refers to these people they always would like to invest in a new venture and the objective of their this is that wo kya karte hain old venture mein itna paisa nahi hai new venture mein risk zyada hai paisa bhi zyada hai okay there is a person who would like to start their business he doesn't have money paisa de do usse profit sharing mang lo new business hai profit sharing zyada aayega and if tomorrow if that business flourishes uska share market mein utaro share price se jitna marzi kamao kyunki you have caught it in the beginning there are few people few industrialist those who does only this there are one they are venture capitalist they identify any entrepreneur would like to want money we we are there but they always say are you you know first convince me second there are kind of people those those who buy sick units they say we have money we want this sick unit to be bought because they have the ability to turn that sick unit into the profitable unit once it is turned to profitable unit they will sell it at high price and they would find another sick unit it's like the doctors these are the financial doctors who would like to check out the financial strength made money and just quit made money just quit efforts commitment thought process because they know about the environment my question my 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 request for everyone is we need to hear find out whether assessment paisa chahiye but beforehand ground work homework ho gaya ke nahi ho gaya hamara homework pura hai paisa zyada mushkil kaam nahi hai i'm talking about the second indirect routes they are helping like anything not only financial but technological but innovations but all kind of ideas they go for holding uh, held you know keeping the seminars they they call the think tanks there are seminars discussions and uh, under these discussions you know since they are associated with the government so they keep on bringing some innovative ideas if somebody are is interested apply that idea they ask the banks to support banks ke sath tie up karte hain indirect routes hain uh, i just want to you know point out the last one e uh, wpc india i am just showing you the picture if you look at this engineering the future uh, i wanted to take the full uh, but it did not come i want to take the full you know uh, page of this full but did not by the ministry of commerce government of india this is really focusing on technological aspects and they are there to help you support you but the only point is uh, i take it as a very simple point uh, we all know about uh, kisan melas you know hosted by the universities agriculture universities everywhere and where the farmers come what do they advise to the farmers this is one good seed it would have the low you know loss high potential benefits this and that use this kind of particular uh, um, chemicals and all that and you would fetch good amount of money plus there would be a less uh, loss to the fertility of the land 
they are giving you an idea and that idea helps you to generate the good amount of money kiska hai kaun sa export oriented product hai everything comes from there similar is them they provide you the ideas and uh, once ideas are clear you are convinced then they help you out okay you don't know about this we help you wherever you are in stuck up you come to our office we are there to support you even they appoint the persons as well where from you can seek the important uh, you can seek the benefit this is another propelling msmc growth fiki they have the you know complete uh, you know unit working on this small scale industries so i was just talking about phd chambers of commerce federation of indian chambers of commerce and industry confederation of indian industry associated chambers of commerce and industry asocham and the last one i have already discussed kaisa kahan se aayega either this people government plus venture capitalist or these indirect routes these indirect routes they uh, they have a particular system that they feed financial feeding they give to only those whatever ideas they have already selected that this is the theme out of this theme anybody who would invest their money their efforts we will give them the every kind of facility here this one the direct routes you have a idea go to bank whatever you would like to give them your project report convince them get the money so here it is a limitation but this is an innovative ideas this one is the one which comes from your mind may be innovative may not be innovative but this ones they help you every step of drafting you know in drafting your business even project report banana bhi they help us now the question comes financial management kya hai before we move on to financial management somebody believes this is a tough one i have always heard about financial management badi mushkil cheez hai i always say this is nothing management kya hai one needs to understand that and i always say management is nothing optimum utilization of available resources i'm talking about available word and optimum word we all have money but the question comes money kitni hai ye important nahi hota hai uska utilization optimum ho raha hai ke nahi ho raha hai and i tell you we don't bother much this is a family life we live and not take much of the burden it's all it's all cool cool but in business you can't do that in business every bit of the investor's money is valuable to you you have to invest in such a manner ki wo ek ek rupaya that should give you the maximum return that's why financial management why we say in business it is more important in our house not important business mein there are some people who question mark on your performance in home there are very few only other we we have a few four or five people out of your four or five people i don't know who comments and who doesn't comment but there is a question mark is less but in business there is a question mark more so when we talk about financial management financial refers to the monetary aspect anything which is of money or money is worth management refers to the optimum utilization so when you talk about monetary aspect financial management it refers to the optimum utilization of available financial resources which would always remain limited in your personal life as well as corporate life paisa kabhi bhi kisi ke paas zyada nahi ho sakta hai why because the more money you have the more investment values are open the more investment values are open you need more money so it would continuously move and that's the major case of financial management so when we basically what we have discussed right now the topic is financial management in ssi when we say small scale industrial unit the only problem is industrialist the venture capitalist sorry the entrepreneur he has the ability of idea but he doesn't have the ability of managing that financial resources and he doesn't have the ability of handling it i always say uh, few people uh, some people say financial management is not much of importance for us because i am a doctor i am a professional i am a lawyer i am a teacher and everybody says it's all right if work works okay otherwise doesn't work then also okay but i always say whatever you profession you are in whatever business you are in you need to manage your money the only fact of managing your money is you can double it but you must have an idea hum kya karte hain most efforts are on to earning less efforts are on to managing uh, last time i had a lecture with the uh, you know in the same place and the question was uh, how to manage money 
how to handle the money and i was saying it that we need to spend some time on this how to manage it we can't say a subject which we have never heard never learned and we are just uh, just handling it as like i think it would be trouble for us i don't know which which mutual fund is good for me i don't know which insurance corporation insurance policy is good for me i don't know where should i invest i do have surplus money but the question is earning to aa gaya managing nahi aa raha hai similar is the case with the entrepreneur project pata hai paise ko manage kaise karna hai uske upar effort nahi lagta hai and every and and the only focus of entrepreneur is that we have an idea let's apply the idea paisa baad mein dekh lenge i say no here you need to have a question because the venture capitalist or the government or the person who has given you the money would like to check out apne us paise ka use kaise kiya hai and the more early you pay off the loan more early you become independent and rather it would be more good for you to handle the finances in the beginning प्रॉब्लम क्या होता है फाइनेंसिस का मैनेजमेंट के ऊपर हम टाइम नहीं लगाते हैं आई आस्क पीपल डू यू लाइक फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट डू यू लाइक दिस विच इज देयर आर फॉर्मूलाज इन दैट दिस इज समथिंग डिफिकल्ट मोनेटरी एस्पेक्ट्स आर देयर अब डेरिवेटिव वर्ड आ गया स्टॉक मार्केट बड़ा गड़बड़ है आई डोंट नो अबाउट एवरी मनी ऑलमोस्ट एवरी मनी इज बीइंग इन्वेस्टेड इन द स्टॉक मार्केट ओनली from the policy from the mutual fund from the anything ab question aaya ye stock market kya hai performance of the companies performance of the companies ka matlab kya hai the ones who are dealing the business and there are the shareholders so if the business performs well prices go high if the business goes down the prices comes down so ultimately it links to the operational aspect gone are the days when people used to spend on paisa uh, lagate the profits ko dekh ke आजकल नहीं लगता है आजकल पैसा कैसे लगता है वर्किंग कैसी है हु इज ऑन द चेयर कौन बंदा उसको चला रहा है बिजनेस का फ्यूचर क्या है आई एम सॉरी टू से सत्यम ने ऐसा क्या किया था सत्यम का सारा बिजनेस प्रॉपर चल रहा था ऑपरेशनल पार्ट में कोई दिक्कत नहीं थी इट वॉज बींग हैंडल्ड इन दर्ल्ड वाइड वंडरफुल वे फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट में एक छोटी सी चूक करी बिजनेस कलेप्स हो गया टेक में वही मैं कह रहा हूं एक गलती टेक महिंद्रा आज चेंज हो गया नाम ही चेंज हो गया क्यों ऑपरेशन कुछ नहीं था गड़बड़ कुछ नहीं था पैसा माइटस में ट्रांसफर किया मींस टू से शेयर होल्डर द वंस हैव इन्वेस्टेड मनी दे कीप ऑन ट्रैकिंग यू फ्रॉम ऑल एस्पेक्ट और जब आपके ऑल एस्पेक्ट क्लियर नहीं है ना तो इफ यू थिंक अबाउट की पैसा मिल जाएगा एम सॉरी आपका आइडिया इनोवेटिव हो सकता है बट उस आइडिया के ऊपर जितना पैसा लग रहा है उससे कम लग सकता है बट हमें पता नहीं है हाउ टू रिड्यूस दैट मनी एंड दैट्स कॉल्ड फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट और मैं इसको ऐसे ही बोलता हूं कि लिव अ पार्ट द बिजनेस लेट्स फर्स्ट हैंडल आर फैमिली आर होम लाइफ हम पैसा सेव कर सकते हैं बट हम कमाने पर जोर देते हैं सेविंग्स पे कम देते हैं आई डोंट से डोंट अर्न बट आई से टेक सम टाइम लर्न सम फंडामेंटल्स मैनेज इट लर्न हाउ टू मैनेज इट The moment we learnt how to manage it, पैसा पैसे को मल्टीप्लाई करेगा यू इन्वेस्टेड द मनी इन द राइट म्यूचुअल फंड इट वुड गिव यू फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द रिटर्न यू इन्वेस्टेड इन अ रॉन्ग प्लेस इट वुड गिव यू टेन परसेंट ऑफ द रिटर्न यू लॉस्ट फोर्टी परसेंट जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ यूर माइंड सेट बिकॉज यू डिड नॉट इन्वेस्ट इन द राइट डायरेक्शन इन द राइट पर्टिकुलर इन्वेस्टमेंट similar is the cases so i am taking your personal life along with i'm sorry to say just only to create the sensitivity my objective is talking about personal life is sensitivity creation so that we are able to identify financial management is not only for ssi it is for personal life as well so there comes the money money is an important issue and i say it must be handled carefully now i have compared the two personal life and the corporate life personal life refers to optimum utilization of the personal finances and there is the finances of the people स्ट्राइकिंग अ बैलेंस बिटवीन करंट कंजम्पन एंड सेविंग्स हमारा हमेशा से एफर्ट क्या आते हैं फैमिली के लिए रख लें बच्चों के लिए रख लें सेफ्टी नीड्स के लिए रख लें एंड देन कुछ बचता है तो एक्सपेंड करते हैं सॉरी आई आई केम टू नो अबाउट डिस्कशन समबडी फाइनेंशियल डिस्कशन वॉज गोइंग ऑन एंड सम पर्सन स्पोक मोस्ट ऑफ आस वट डू वी हैव अबिट इफ आई हैव अ ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ऑफ अर्निंग first i will take out my homely expenses 
my petrol expenses my all family related expenses then something else is left all things whatever i would wanted to spend i would spend and after that i would say is there something left out of 20000 okay 2000 is left left this 2000 be kept on the savings this is all we do now the, that discussion was saying that we should not do like this we should say i need to save 5000 every month so my salary is 20000 on the first day 5000 separate and assume my salary is 15000 manage within this 15000 that should be the approach because once you have a financial discipline in your savings and tomorrow your financial discipline in savings turning into investment that investment would give you the return aaj mushkil lagega but jab 40 45 crores hoenge to uski return aani shuru ho jayegi aur jab wo return aani shuru ho jayegi 15 20 saal ke baad you will really enjoy उस वक्त मैनेज हो जाएगा बट द क्वेश्चन कम्स वी फोकस ऑन कंजम्पन एज फाइनेंशियल पीपल वी बिलीव फोकस ऑन द इन्वेस्टमेंट बट इन्वेस्टमेंट इतना भी ना करोगे यार बिल्कुल ही सेविंग्स लाइफ के लाइफस्टाइल खत्म कर दो आई से बैलेंस स्ट्राइकिंग द बैलेंस बिटवीन द टू बिजनेस में क्या होगा कॉर्पोरेट लाइफ है देर आर टू थिंग्स रिस्क एंड रिटर्न देर मस्ट बी अ ट्रेड ऑफ ट्रेड ऑफ का मतलब होता है ऑप्टिम लेवल ऑफ रिस्क जितना बियर कर सकते हो ऑप्टिम लेवल ऑफ रिटर्न जितनी आप कमा सकते हो that's it that must be a balance between the two and then refers to the financial planning for future sacrificing today's consumption for future financial goals like medical child education hum sab ke sath hi hota hai there is a you know we start planning for the kids and for the you know home and all that here anything you do in corporate life immediately the share price would have a question you do take a wrong decision immediately that would be reflected tata bought chorus few years back it was all cash deal i would discuss further and tata was believing that uh, prices would go high since i have bought it tata was world 7th chorus was world 3rd and everybody was believing that the prices of the tata would go high but the prices of the tata kept remained down for first 7 days question was raised why prices are down identified that it was all cash deal and if it is a cash deal it means tata would have less amount of liquidity with them there may be chances they may they may face liquidity crunch then they stepped inside they made a statement we have enough resources not to worry about and the price is you know went high so what i mean to say is in your business today you take any wrong decision it's this wrong decision is not about finances this wrong decision is something related to anything immediately the prices would have a impact and that impact is really crucial for your organization if this is something bigger one now moving on to the need of financial management center point hamari life ka center point hai i say trade off between risk and uh, risk element in business and its corresponding return trade off refers to if i want to earn 10% return and i am getting around uh, 12% risk 12% risk 10% return i can bear 8% risk i can't bear beyond that 8% so that 8% is that i can't go ahead i would compromise with the return many people what do they do they don't know about the kahan paisa lagana hai oh my god my my neighbor earned money i left paisa laga diya aur kaun sa paisa laga diya that was a required money baad mein wo paisa doob gaya why because you did not go for any kind of work behind that बिजनेसमैन के लिए क्या है मैं इस पर्टिकुलर बिजनेस पैसा लगा रहा हूं एम आई एबल टू रिकवर माई मनी वो ट्रेड ऑफ का बैलेंस है जितना बियर कर सकते हो होता क्या है हम ना ज्यादा रिटर्न की इच्छा रखते हैं रिस्क के एलिमेंट को इग्नोर कर देते हैं ये बिजनेस में कहता है कि यू नीड टू हैव रिस्क आइडेंटिफिकेशन हाउ मच रिस्क यू कैन बियर देन कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग रिटर्न यू आर दैट मे बी लेस दैट मे बी हाई बट यूर रिस्क एलिमेंट शुड बी कंट्रोल्ड because once your risk element is gone it means your business is gone satyam ke sath hua thoda sa paise ka adjustment if he would not have done this today satyam would have been somewhere else ramalingam raju the most successful ceo and uh, now behind the bars this is not something easy thing talk about sahara subhadrai one small mistake and uh, 20000 crore rupees and that he hasn't been able to refund behind the bars 
talk about Vijay Malia, King Fishers could not pay the salaries of people and then got behind stuck up. What is this all mean? This all mean refers to that somewhere paiso ka management sahi nahi tha. Somewhere decision jo tha, that was not right. And if that decision is not right, I'm sorry, the business would collapse. Now, Sahara, you all know about the name, Hamara Vishwas kam ho gaya hai. You know, King Fisher is just gone out and one day, one time the, it was that every pilot, every crew member wanted to be a part of the King Fisher Airlines. And, you know, all, all went on because financial management nahi hua. Financial is the center point. We all know. Iske bina survival hi nahi hai. That's the simple fact. We need uh, PESA for investment. We want to grow our business. If we want to grow our business, we need to, you know, talk about uh, how to expand the business for liquidity purposes. I will be discussing in detail. Liquidity refers to you should have money with you at that point of time. If you don't have money in the form of cash, form of cash or nearby or nearby refers to that. Uh, it's not with you, but OK, you can make it arrange within one day. You can make it arrange within two days. That's called the nearby cash. And in uh, business, we say within two, three months. Within two, three months refers to that, okay, I don't have money, but I would be able to have it. So I'll take it from somebody for two months and I'll give him back. But it should be my money. Why? Because liquidity crunch may create trouble. If we all know, Kingfisher ke under liquidity crunch shiru wa tha. First time they were not being able to pay money as a salary and everybody was thinking Kingfisher have a problem? Not at all. Kingfisher might not be. They might have somewhere invested. Everybody was thinking like this. First month salary which was not received. Second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. That was the really troublesome. Liquidity refers to that your routine expenses that should not be disturbed. And if once they are disturbed, it means you are going to lose the trust of the people. Whose trust? Those who are working. And I, and I believe HR component mein agar distrust a gaya, it's really tough. It's really tough. Or hum sabhi ko pata hai, hum bhi HR ki component ka part hai. Or agar kahi ek bar administration ya kahi bhi distrust a jai, we are not able to perform our 100%. Then we have uh, evaluation of various sources of finances available. Now I need money as well. Where from I would arrange my money. Like uh, now those who want to start their business, SSI, first question comes in their mind, paisa kahan se aega? Once paisa aagaya, their business is started, second question comes, sasta paisa kahan se aega? What do we mean by sasta paisa? Means the one, jiske upar investment kar, jo mujhe paisa dena pad raha, return dena pad raha, that should be less. So jo sasta paisa refers to that you need to pay less rate of interest. How to arrange that less rate of interest is called third objective evaluation of various sources of finances available. And uh, if I put it in a structure manner, you can look at this diagram. This diagram has one side financing. Financing refers to arrangement of money. Where from should I? Paisa kaha se aana chahiye. But the first step of financing refers to if you don't, are not getting money, you will talk about let it be from anywhere. Second would be, next step would be, no, I would like to take from only where, where the low rate of interest are there. Investment refers to you want to invest your money. You have surplus paisa or you want expansion. First thing, for your objective would be, kahan lagayin so that I could get a lot of money in future. That's called, you know, increasing my business, the expansion and growth. And every business do have this you know, expenses, expansion feelings. Talk about reliance, may I always say, kiss me nahi hai. Kiss sector me nahi hai. They are trying to tap every sector. Why? Iske bichik simple sa logic hai. Life cycle of a business. And if we all know about the life cycle of a business, this is something like this. Every business goes high and after that comes down. Wo kata hai, goes high, jab ta goes high or you are making money, but make sure it would come down. This is as like our health. Young age till 50 kuch nahi hota. 50 ke baad thoda thoda gad bad hona shiru hota. It's like a business. So this business organization say, okay, it's at the top position. Let's start new business. Wo in fancy stage mein hoga, wo grow ho jayega. Mina next child is ready. Next, next, next. So they would not have any problem with related to finances. 
क्योंकि कुछ ऊपर होंगे दैट वुड कीप ऑन गोइंग ऑन सो सिमिलरली मेरी इन्वेस्टमेंट है पर्सनल लाइफ से अटैच कर रहा हूं इफ आई इन्वेस्टेड एट वन प्लेस तो वो एक ही बार मेच्योर होगा एक ही बार पैसा आएगा If I would invest it at four, five places. Now, what these youngsters are doing these days, the young chaps, those who have uh, really learnt about the finances, they invest the money for five years, ten years, fifteen years, twenty years, twenty-five years. Means, one installment five के लिए देंगे, दूसरी की installment दस के लिए देंगे, तीसरी की installment पंद्रह के लिए, ऐसे करके. Why? Five के बाद एक maturity आ जाएगी. Your requirement five साल बाद जो छोटी मोटी होगी, उस पांच से पूरी हो जाएगी. फिर नेक्स्ट आ जाएगा फिर नेक्स्ट आ जाएगा दिस वे यू वोट है मिलिट्री प्रॉब्लम अदरवाइज हम लोग करते क्या थे सारी की सारी 2020 ट्वेंटी के लिए इन्वेस्टमेंट लगा दो आएगी तो सभी तरफ से एक ही बार में आ जाएगी बट अदरवाइज वी विल बी फीलिंग फाइनेंशियल क्रांच दैट इज द वे दीज डेज नाउ एवरी थिंग इज है लाइक समबडी वॉन्ट्स इज चाइल्ड टू बी इन टू दू नो आफ्टर प्लस टू मेडिकल तो वो कहता है प्लस टू के बाद पैसा चाहिए How many days? How many years? तो कहता है बारह प्लस तीन पंद्रह पंद्रह साल बाद पैसा चाहिए लेट्स बाय यू नो फाइनेंशियल पॉलिसी वर्थ रुपीज वन करोड़ उसके ऊपर सेविंग करना शुरू कर दो पंद्रह साल के लिए पैसा लगाओ पंद्रह साल बाद पैसा है दैट शुड बी गिवन टू दाइल्ड जॉब ओवर These are called financial management related to the personal life. But when you talk about SSI, you talk about investments. You your investment should be like that. इधर से पैसा आया रिवर्स रोटेट होता रहे पैसा यू नो एक जगह पे पैसा रहेगा ना देर आर मोर लाइकली चांसेस कि वो पैसा डूब सकता है वी इन से इन आर फाइनेंसेस अगर बैड डेट्स छह महीने से पुराने हो जाएं बैड डेट्स रेफर्स टू किसी को उधार दिया और छह महीने तक पैसा नहीं आया तो उसके पास जाओ उसको अपनी पॉकेट से नया लोन दे दो छह सौ उतने ही अमाउंट का और उसको बोलो इस पैसे से मेरा पुराना लोन वापिस कर दे वेरी मेनी पीपल थिंक वॉट इज द फन your money you have given him back and you have taken from him back but the question comes you can you are having the new papers right now new papers of the latest time otherwise the one who has to give you back would say yaar 2 saal pehla paisa liya si na he can't say like this your debt is fresh so that debt freshness is called we talk it in our finance that re redebt him Give him the again money. Ask him, give me my old. Chances of being bad debts, doubling the chances, come will be. This is a simple logic in finance. That this money should not be doubled. Third, we talk about working capital. Working capital refers to rotational money, which I require. Just like King Fisher did, he could not pay me. If he would not have bought a plane, aircraft, he would not have bought a plane, aircraft, he would not have bought a plane. उनको पेमेंट कर देता दो फ्लाइट्स कम चला देता समथिंग कुड हैव बीन आई डोंट नो यू नो वी आर डिस्कसिंग द सैड स्टोरी ही माइट हैव मेड हिज एफर्ट्स सो नॉट टू लुक एट द नेगेटिव एंड एस्पेक्ट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द पॉजिटिव एस्पेक्ट बट रोटेशनल मनी इज रिक्वायर्ड यू नो इन आवर हाउस देयर इज अ मेड एंड वी डोंट गिव हिम मनी फॉर वन मंथ क्या होगा आप सभी को पता है ठीक है एंड इफ यू डोंट गिव फॉर टू मंथ्स सो इवन पूरे मोहल्ले का भी कोई भी मेड काम करने नहीं आएगी दैट दे आर पुअर इन मोनेटरी टर्म्स आप कुछ और मत करो बट टाइमली पेमेंट करते हो दैट मेक्स योर क्रेडिट इन दार्केट सिमिलरली इज विदनेस टेक इट फ्रॉम सामबडी गिव हिम दैट्स न्यू लोन देन अगेन टेक इट फ्रॉम सामबडी बट डोंट मिस दी डेट्स मिसिंग डेट्स इन बिजनेस मीन्स यू आर लूजिंग यूर रिलायबिलिटी यू आर लूजिंग यूर क्रेडिट एबिलिटी and the fourth is uh, uh, dividend decision since it won't be of our interest because i will discuss with you but this is something related to the companies coming into the you know more structured way any financial management has the most important goal that's called maximization of share value in companies we say share value in our life in our ssi we will say maximizing the total capital funds अगर पांच लाख है प्रॉफिट से उसको सात बनाया सात से उसको बीस बनाया बीस से उसको चालीस बनाया दैट्स कॉल्ड मैक्सिमाइजिंग हाउ विल आई डू दिस आई विल आई नीड टू टेक डिसीजन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ डिसीजन माय इन्वेस्टमेंट कहा लगेंगी वेयर आई एम गोइंग टू इन्वेस्ट हाउ मच मनी डू आई नीड टू टेक ऑन लोन एंड दैट डू एज अ लो रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट working capital how much money do i have a rotational money i've seen the businesses as well as personal lives kya karte hain pada hai to sara paisa hi liquidity mein pada hai aur nahi pada to bilkul bhi nahi pada hai 
अब कम अक्रॉस बीच में द बैंक स्टार्टिंग फ्लेक्सी डिपॉजिट अकाउंट्स फ्लेक्सी डिपॉजिट अकाउंट्स आर लाइक दिस दैट योर अ सिंपल वन फिक्स अमाउंट वुड बी योर सेविंग्स एंड एनीथिंग बियॉन्ड दैट वुड बी इनटू अ फिक्स डिपॉजिट अकाउंट मींस सेंट्रल बैंक ऑफ इंडिया इट हैज लॉन्च ट्वेंटी अगर आपके अकाउंट में है तो वी विल गिव यू सेविंग इंटरेस्ट कितना होता है सेविंग इंटरेस्ट वी ऑल नो फोर टू फाइव परसेंट बट इफ यू दे से इफ यू हैव बियॉन्ड ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड विल गिव यू दी रेट इंटरेस्ट रेट एज अप्लाइड ऑन एफ डी एफ डी रेट इज नाइन परसेंट एंड मोस्ट ऑफ फास्ट डू हैव दियर सैलरी अकाउंट उसमें एक लाख दो लाख ऐसी पड़ा रहता है एंड वी डोंट यूज दिस बट आई से वी आर लूजिंग मनी चार परसेंट ब्याज लूज कर रहे हैं या तो अकाउंट को फ्लेक्सी डिपॉजिट अकाउंट बना लो so that your any amount out of you know beyond 25000 everything is earning 8% rakhne ka fayda to tab hai na jab wo kuch return de aur isko agar main inflation ke sath jod do so inflation do have an important issue which mein there there was a article in the you know financial newspaper that article was saying whatever you are keeping in your uh, bank account that is also at a loss and it was shocked to everybody loss my god how it said if you keep in fd bank account fd it is only 8 or 8% or something but inflation is at 10% 2% actually you are losing so everybody was shocked oh my god this is shocking but my my worry was what about those who don't know because our life if you know what i believe financial management should be known to everybody but the question comes everybody is perfect in their profession बट वट कम्स परफेक्ट परफेक्शन में तो हो गए बट पैसे के लिए हमने परफेक्शन बनाया नो डाउट मनी इज अंटर पॉइंट थोड़ा सा मैनेजमेंट भी हम सबको आना चाहिए दैट वुड हेल्प अस और उससे क्या होता है वी आर एबल टू डिस्चार्ज आर ड्यूटीज इन मच कॉन्फिडेंट मैनर बिकॉज वी डोंट हेयर टेंशन अबाउट द मोनिटरी और द फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्स अदरवाइज एवरीबडी इज वरिड दीज डेज वी आर फ्रॉम द मनी शुड कम वी आर फ्रॉम दीज एक्स्ट्रा एक्सपेंसिज कंजम्पन लेवल ये कैसे मैनेज करेंगे once your all four decisions are there again what he was asking me return and risk trade off as a human being how much you can bear the risk accordingly your return would be we have learned this word high risk high profit low risk low profit profit refers to return हाई रिस्क रिस्क रेफर्स टू आप ज्यादा रिस्क ले रहे हो डूबेगा तो गए बन गए तो बन गए वेरी फ्यू पीपल डू दिस दो सरप्लस मनी एंड माई एडवाइस सिंस वी वी आई है चांस टू हैव एन इंटरेक्शन विद सो माई रिक्वेस्ट ऑलवेज बी वट एवर वी आर इन्वेस्टिंग इफ वी आर इन्वेस्टिंग बियॉन्ड द रिस्क लेवल काइंडली चेक दैट इज एन एक्स्ट्रा मनी विद यू इफ यू आर बियॉन्ड इन्वेस्टिंग बियॉन्ड योर रिस्क लेवल चेक आउट वो आपकी एक्स्ट्रा मनी होनी चाहिए एक्स्ट्रा मनी रेफर्स टू डूब जाए तो आपको टेंशन की गोली ना खानी पड़े बिकॉज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट फॉर योर फैमिली इज यू एज अर सेल्फ और हम लोग क्या करते हैं मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट हम किसको बना देते हैं पैसे को बना देते हैं एंड आई बिलीव इफ यू आर देयर यू कैन मेक अगेन द सेम मनी बट इफ यू आर नॉट देयर वेयर फ्रॉम दिस मनी वुड कम दैट्स अ सिंपल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ लाइफ so if we are investing somewhere invest when you have extra beyond risk yeah, calculated risk to har koi lega aur calculated risk mein doob jata hai to it's an part and parcel of your life that you can't do but the question comes have you done your homework before investment that's the most important issue now coming on to the you know a uh, bit of discussion about the investment decision refers to investing money at the right project ab aage hi wo wali baat aap का वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट पैसा तभी देगा जब आप उसको लगेगा प्रोजेक्ट राइट right है और इफ यू आर एस एस आई यू आर बिजनेसमैन यू विल ओनली इन्वेस्ट फर्स्ट यू विल आस्क योर यू नो एम्प्लॉय अरे इसकी कैलकुलेशन कर लो भाई इसकी वायबिलिटी चेक कर लो वेदर इट वुड गिव मी यू नो प्रॉफिट और नॉट अदरवाइज वाई शुड आई स्पेंड माई मनी अदरवाइज वाई शुड आई वेस्ट माई टाइम एंड एनर्जी इवन इवन बींग बिट मोर सेंसिटिव आई टेल यू हम लोग तो यू नो वी टॉक अबाउट इन्वेस्टमेंट ओनली एट दो प्लेसेज जहां से कुछ फायदा मिलता है अदरवाइज वी डोंट गो टू दैट प्लेस एज वेल सो वेन इट कम्स टू योर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द वन लाइफ दैट्स कॉल्ड मनी उसकी इन्वेस्टमेंट राइट प्रोजेक्ट में बिजनेसमैन कैसे लगाएगा 
राइट right प्रोजेक्ट क्या है जो हाईएस्ट रिटर्न देता है वो राइट right प्रोजेक्ट है और हाईएस्ट रिटर्न के लिए ही मस्ट हैव दी अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ द यू नो प्रोजेक्ट्स वन टू थ्री फोर आई कैन इन्वेस्ट हियर आई कैन इन्वेस्ट हियर आई कैन इन्वेस्ट हियर समवेयर I'm exampling, giving you the example. Investments made by Tata Group in buying new ventures like Corus, Steels, Jaguar, and somewhere and somewhere, they went on to the bought out. वो कहता है कि established business को खरीदो. Right business, right investment. The richest investor of the world is Warren Buffett. What has he done? He has raised the money from the people, invested in the market, earned high returns, paid them less returns, and made money. why paid them less returns because those all people have the money but they don't have the ability to multiply it warren buffett had the ability to multiply it but he doesn't have the money so he said okay people are there they will give me the money that was the beginning of his career and he made money and sooner right investment right places and he became the richest investor in the world similarly a wrong investment decision may take the company to its winding up we all know satyam's decision to buy maitas ye decision galat nahi hona tha look at uh, question behind this satyam ka paisa maitas mein transfer hua now they were incorporating back the maitas and they he was doing a bad deed into a good deed but the question came people started asking a satyam company and paying 1000 crore extra to maitas question came why and that why did everything it means your one wrong decision whole company finished when i am saying is i am saying it the sensitivity of the business ventures means we cannot take it as like lightly agar nuksan ho gaya to koi baat nahi personal nuksan hai it's a business it's a damn business you need to be careful in every taking every decision and in banking sector we all know subprime lending caused the financial crisis in the whole world and this lending subprime lending what was that the one who is doubtful in paying back or banks usko udhar de rahe hain the one who is doubtful in paying and if the banks are giving them the loan there are most likely chances that the person won't be able to give you the money what would you do you have taken his asset as a pledge okay but you don't deal in the assets uh, pledging or selling the houses you are you deal in the cash you deal in the you know banking sector you deal in interest this all started in america home loans were there and the old home loans and all said take our homes now take our homes bank would what would bank do with the homes so bank ne homes ko le liya unko possession le liya possession ke liye sell ke liye nikala again the question comes there must be the buyers there were no buyers they sold at the low rates now that would have been great if the banks had lent them the money which was available with them problem came when the american banks paid the uh, sorry lent the money to the american people after taking money on loan from the european people chain was very simple investor was paying to the bank american bank american bank was paying out to the european bank and the system was going cool this all disturbed इन्वेस्टर से पैसा नहीं आया बैंकर डजेंट हैव द मनी यूरोपियन बैंक नाउ द डिफॉल्ट स्टार्टेड कमिंग नाउ यूरोपियन बैंक वुड आस्क फ्रॉम द अमेरिकन बैंक भैया पैसे दो अमेरिकन बैंक डजेंट हैव द मनी यूरोपियन बैंक माइट हैव रेंज दिस मनी फ्रॉम समवेयर एल्स आई से आई स्पोक इन द वेरी बिगिनिंग नो वन हैव द अनलिमिटेड मनी एवरीवन हैड मेड देयर जुगाड़ टाइप अरेंजमेंट्स एंड दिस ऑल ब्रॉट इनटू द फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस इन द वर्ल्ड एंड दिस वाज प्रेडिक्टेड बाय the well known rbi governor raguram rajan nahi samajh aaya let me explain it again there there happens to be the investors those who have the uh, let's suppose i took a home loan from a bank i don't have the ability to pay to the bank that's i, I mean to be called as sub prime lender prime lender is the one who has the ability to pay back to the bank so i took money on loan started living in a good home out you know and then started paying the bank the installments okay now if i am a defaulter in paying to the bank what would happen bank would be in trouble because bank ka paise ka circulation kya ho gaya ab samajh gaye now that bank had taken money from where european bank american bank had to pay to the european bank european bank ne bhi paisa kahin se le rakha hai 
स्टार्टिंग से पैसा नहीं आया ना बैंक ने क्या किया होम सेल कर दिया सेल करेगा आपने पैसा नहीं दिया इट वुड टेक योर पोजिशन सेल करेगा बट द क्वेश्चन कम्स देर मस्ट बी द बायर ऑफ दैट होम आपने 25 लाख का लोन दिया है घर सेल हो रहा है पंद्रह लाख में लॉस इज देयर ऑफ हाउ मच टेन लैख पैसा कहां से आएगा नाउ द अमेरिकन बैंक डोंट है मनी Unless government stepped in and government supports, otherwise तो होगा ही होगा By this time there happens to be a financial crunch. Crunch कहां से आया छ महीने के लिए पैसे का liquidity flow रुक गया European bank बोलता है भैया हम project को fund करने को तैयार है but हमारा पैसा आ नहीं रहा है You wait for वन month, you wait for टू month, you wait for थ्री month. Opportunities wait होनी शुरू हो गई Crunch आ गया कहा से crunch आया वन thought, वन right. Investment turned into the wrong investment, or that time India was had a good tapping. कि इंडिया के जो बैंकर्स हैं वो ऐसे पैसा देते हैं जैसे अपना पैसा दे रहे हों. And India was saved from this financial crisis to the extent. The reason behind हमारे banks पहले बंदे को पूछते हैं तेरी salary कितनी है. उसके बाद कहते हैं अगर तेरी salary तू डूब गया तो guarantor को पकड़ लेंगे तो guarantor से भी sign करा. Once the guarantor is done, then your home is there. So there is a lot of things. So they have created two, three, you know, walls in between. So there is a less chances that the money would, you know, default and. अगर 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 इसको यू कैन से लाइक दिस सेविंग हैबिट बट आई वुड से वी आर मोर कंसर्न अबाउट आर रेपुटेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ गिविंग बैक दैट ओके और ये बैंक वाला मेरे पास आएगा फैमिली सोसाइटी में क्या इज्जत रहेगी ओके दैट दैट कैन बी एंड द थर्ड वन आई आई वाज एक्सपेक्टिंग दिस आंसर थर्ड वन वाज दैट वी हैव अ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ ब्लैक मनी विद अस सो उसके भी अरेंजमेंट से हमारा काम चल जाता है तो इन इंडिया दैट्स आल्सो अ काइंड ऑफ अ सिस्टम वेयर बाय द वर्क्स सो वहां पर सारा कुछ वन नंबर में चलता है नाउ हाउ टू एनालाइज एनी इन्वेस्टमेंट देयर आर टेक्निक्स डिस्काउंटिंग एंड नॉन डिस्काउंटिंग आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू यू नो क्वेश्चन आंसर के लिए कितना टाइम देते हो आप टेन मिनट्स तो फिर मैं इसको डिस्काउंटिंग एंड नॉन डिस्काउंटिंग टेक्निक्स आर देयर नाउ व्हाट आर दिस डिस्काउंटिंग एंड नॉन डिस्काउंटिंग टेक्निक्स आई से डिस्काउंटिंग टेक्निक रेफर्स टू वैल्यू ऑफ अ रुपी टुडे एंड वैल्यू ऑफ अ रुपी आफ्टर वन ईयर देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस यू जस्ट रिमेंबर योर ओल्ड डेज एक रुपए में पता नहीं क्या कुछ आ जाता होगा द सेम थिंग यू राइट नाउ यू कांट बाई Now what happened? Cheese mangi ho gayi ya rupee ki value kam ho gayi. We believe value of the rupee has lost. That's called purchasing power of the currency has lost somewhere. Discounting technique believes that when you are analyzing a project, kindly evaluate on the basis of the value of the money. Somebody says to me, "Okay, you give me twenty thousand per year for five years. You will pay six lakh to me, but I will give you ten lakh at the end of the five year." Now the question comes, उस दिन टेन लैख की वैल्यू कितनी होगी आफ्टर फाइव ईयर दैट इज द इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बट मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल बिलीव अरे छह दिया या साठ दिया और सिक्स लैख टेन लैख आ गए तो वो बिलीव ओके वाई बिकॉज दे आर वैल्यूइंग इट दे आर कंपेयरिंग इट टू डेज मनी विद दैट फंडामेंटल सेम नहीं है अब ये होता क्यों है बिकॉज द नॉलेज ऑफ द फाइनेंस आर नॉट देयर हम लोगों को सिर्फ पैसा कमाने का पता है हजार रुपए का पता है बट हजार रुपए से परचेजिंग पावर कितना आ रहा है उसके ऊपर हम फोकस नहीं करते हैं तो डिस्काउंटिंग एंड नॉन डिस्काउंटिंग डिस्काउंटिंग टेक्निक्स आर दो टेक्निक्स जो पैसे को उसके वैल्यू पे जाके कंपेयर करेगा फिर बोलेगा अच्छा प्रोजेक्ट के ऊपर इन्वेस्टमेंट इतना रिटर्न इतना प्लस है या माइनस है दैट्स कॉल दी वर्थ वाइज रिलेटेड प्लस क्वालिटेटिव एस्पेक्ट लीडरशिप कैसा है बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट कंडीशन कैसी है गवर्नमेंट रेगुलेशन कैसी है आई थिंक द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल आई हैव रिटर्न पतंजलि प्रोडक्ट Now a days conditions of the business are quite likely with the Patanjali products, and they are coming with everything. अब आप उस business में पैसा लगाओगे तो you are you will be growing. Reason behind business conditions are quite favorable to you. But just turn around, the things would be tough for you. Now the question comes: If you are starting a business and you are investing your business, kindly think. हर चीज़ आप investment की return से नहीं कर सकते हो. 
उसके साथ साथ आपको उसको क्वालिटेटिव फैक्टर्स भी देखने हैं कोई चीज आज अच्छी है आफ्टर वन ईयर वो अच्छी नहीं रहती है क्योंकि कंडीशन ही बदल गई लाइक समवेयर इन अ कंट्री एक स्टेट के अंदर यू नो पीपल आर सो ड्रंक बहुत लिकर पीते हैं बहुत लिकर लगती है ऑल राइट right, बहुत अच्छी रिटर्न है वंडरफुल आगे गवर्नमेंट चेंज हो जाए और लीकर पे और बैन कर दे वट वुड यू डू रिटर्न खत्म आपने तो कैलकुलेशन किया कैलकुलेशन भी ठीक था बट द क्वेश्चन केम्स की बिजनेस तो खत्म हो गया ना भाई वो खत्म कैसे हुआ उसको यू नीड टू चेक आउट वट इज द फ्यूचर आई स्टिल रिमेंबर वो डिब्बे वाले बॉक्स वाले टीवी थे कॉन्टिन्यूसली चले बड़ी देर चले एलसीडी आया बट टॉक अबाउट द ड्यूरेशन बिटवीन एलसीडी एंड एलईडी एक साल या दो साल का भी बड़ी मुश्किल से था तो जिसने एलसीडी का प्रोडक्शन ज्यादा करके रख लिया हो और उसका एलसीडी बहुत बिकरा था एंड ही बिलीव कि कर लो प्रोडक्शन कोई चक्कर नहीं है प्रोडक्शन की टेक्नोलॉजी चेंज हो गई क्या करोगे भाई सो यू नीड टू चेक आउट कंडीशन ऑफ द बिजनेस कैसी है सो वेन यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग यू नीड टू टैप ऑन एवरी डे वट इज है इन द मार्केट और वो वट इज है इन द मार्केट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अदरवाइज आप नेक्स्ट डे बिजनेस से बाउट हो सेकेंड कम्स फाइनेंसिंग डिसीजन फाइनेंसिंग पैसे का अरेंजमेंट कहां से होना है सो आई आई स्पोक यू देर आर टू थिंग्स पहला पैसे को कहां से मिलने की प्रॉब्लम है बाद में कहता है पैसा सस्ता कहां से मिलेगा सस्ता रेफर्स टू दैट लो रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट so it says making the arrangement of financing for running the business venture one company may take it from its shareholder or may take issue loan papers it would depend which is available at low rate i i just simply you know discuss it with you in a fundamental way when the market is having no money means less amount of supply is there in the market you ask the people give me the loan supply of money is less but you are asking loan we believe that you will be getting loan at the high rate of interest why fundamentally same supply of the product is less if supply is less there would be a problem for you now the question comes you wanted loan for that period all right your loan for that period was quite costly but you took it took this loan for 15 years it means i i needed 1 lakh rupees at that time when there was a crunch and i paid 10% rate of interest to that loan which was quite high for me i paid it but i simultaneously agreed for a agreement that i will be paying you for this 10% for 15 years this is a wrong decision i could say him okay one year i will be paying you 10% after that i will pay your money back in the anticipation ek saal baad supply of the money in the market would increase मैं किसी और से सस्ता लोन लूंगा सेवन परसेंट सिक्स परसेंट एंड आई विल पे दिस लोन टू दिस टेन परसेंट एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच थ्री परसेंट आई सेव इफ माई रिटर्न ऑफ दैट बिजनेस इज ट्वेल्व परसेंट अर्लियर आई वॉज पेइंग टेन परसेंट आई जस्ट अर्न ओनली टू परसेंट बट नाउ आई पे दिस टेन परसेंट एंड आई टूक अ लोन एट सिक्स परसेंट माई अर्निंग आर नाउ सिक्स परसेंट दैट्स अ सिंपल फंडामेंटल so financing when you are talking about you have to check out the duration of the finance and the market conditions of the finance factors when you are taking financing risk element kitna hai leverage benefits are the most important ones leverage benefits are those benefits whereby a simple fundamental hai income tax ke andar income tax says interest on loan is deductible as an expense but anything paid to the shareholder is not termed as an expense it means you have to pay more taxes so what most of the companies are doing now if they are spending 1 rupee as a capital they take 50% from the loaners 50% from the shareholder so that rate of interest on this 50% loaner would be reduced means income tax ka jo benefit hai wo mil jayega otherwise you will be losing your money Why are gone are the days people used to say अपना पैसा लगाओ बिजनेस में टेंशन नहीं होती है आई से नो दैट इज गॉन आर द डेज रीजन बिहाइंड नाउ यू डोंट गेट एनी बेनिफिट एंड वो इनकम टैक्स वाले भी देखते हैं अच्छा सारा पैसा अपना लगाया है देर मे बी समथिंग गॉन आर द डेज नाउ द डेज इज टेक मनी ऑन लोन पे लोन इन ट्रस्ट एज अ एक्सपेंस शो योर इनकम एज अ लेस अगर मेरी पांच लाख इनकम है ढाई लाख लोन दिखाया दो लाख लोन का इंटरेस्ट दिखाया तो आई हैव टू पे ओनली टैक्स ओनली ऑन थ्री लैख अदरवाइज आई नीड टू पे टैक्स ऑन होल फाइव लैख दिस इज कॉल्ड डिलीवरेज बेनिफिट 
rate of earning, how much you are earning. If I am earning 10%, I am paying 12%. I'm sorry. I need to look at that. Ki mere ko wo kaam nahi karna chahiye. WSCC. Weighted average cost of capital. Weighted average cost of capital refers to I be I would seek money arrangements from different sources. Mera paisa, loan ka paisa, shareholder ka paisa, kahi aur se loan liya. Ek loan 8% pay hai, one loan is 6%, one loan is at 10%, one loan is at 12%. My own money, my retained earnings, that's called my savings. So I would like to see ki agar ye sara jod kar ke 20 lakh banta hai, to iski average cost mujhe kitni pad rahi hai. एक लोन 10 पे भी है वन लोन 8 पे भी है वन लोन 6 पे भी है वन 12 पे भी है मेरा पैसा भी है अगर मैं क्लब करूं आई वांट टू नो कि मेरे को एवरेज कॉस्ट कितना है सो दैट आई कुड आइडेंटिफाई लेट अस सपोज आई एम अर्निंग 12% ऑन माय रिटर्न ऑन माय बिजनेस आई वुड चेक आउट एवरेज मेरे को कॉस्ट कितना पड़ रहा है अगर एवरेज पड़ रहा है 8% आई विल से वर्थ वाइल इन डूइंग बिजनेस 4% बच रहा है but the question comes agar main 12% overall kama raha hu but meri weighted average cost of capital meri 14% hai ya 12 hi percent hai tough hai you know ek hai ek opportunity samne aayi that opportunity says me uh, do this and you will get 13% rate of return i i have to answer him within 10 15 minutes but if i don't know weighted average cost of capital kitni hai how can i tell him ki mujhe ye acceptable hai ya nahi so every business goes on deciding ki meri average cost per 100 rupee kitni pad rahi hai usko percentage mein leke chalta hai as i have discussed business environment conditions in terms of money supply is the again important factor and plus government policy on financing of ssi we all know over the last uh, you know periods financing of ssi hamesha push up ke liye raha hai but the question comes ki wo push up kitna Asardar hota hai means how many units are converted into actual business that is the most important scenario or usme se kuch units to is liye nahi survive kar pate because they lose in handling financial management part they don't th- able to manage it ki financial management karna kaise hai then we call it liquidity decision liquidity refers to the paisa that is called which is with you at a rotational basis rotational basis to which i say there are two kinds of money. One is called fixed, one is called rotational. Rotational may word use karna, but it is not actually. It is called working capital. Working capital is basically for maintenance of income. Fixed is for generation of income. Investment kara plant me existing income ke under addition karna. Panch hazar may routine may kama rao. Mene ek naya plant lagaya. Teen hazar or aega meri monthly income at zar hogai. This is called generation of income i generated 3000 extra maintenance of income refers to us 5000 ko kamane ke liye how much money do i need to pay to the people and keep with me all the times that's called working capital if you don't have money as we were talking about king fisher pay pay nahi kar paya hum maid ko pay na kar paye so reputation would go down and that would create serious trouble for that ab question aata hai if you keep extra money that is a loss if you keep less money that is a danger so you need to strike a balance if you want to keep the balance and make some arrangements that if you need some money you can take it from some people and you can pass on your you know that particular hurdle or that burden to which we say this is uh, when tata bought chorus it was a cash deal maine aapke sath already liquidity decision ki baat kar chuka hu kingfisher airlines ki main baat kar chuka hu Method kaise hai liquidity ke, we talk about DOQ, economic order quantity. Ek hai ordering cost, ek hai carrying cost. Carrying cost refers to us cheez ko go down mein rakhna. Ordering cost refers to order deke cheez ko mangwane tak jo humari cost lagegi. Balance between the two. Dell computers ke baare mein aapne suna hoga. Dell computers provides you work on zero inventory system. Inventory hai hi nahi. Kata carrying cost zero. Why? Because he says, what to do with keeping that all money, all that stuff of raw material with me? What he has went on to create, that's called MIS, Management Information Software. He has attached the lenders, suppliers, bankers, packers, everyone in the MIS. The moment you click a order, immediately that order is passed on to all units. Supplier ko pata lag jata hai ki I need to supply one product. 
ट्रांसपोर्ट वाले को पता चल जाता है वहां से प्रोडक्ट आएगा ट्रांसपोर्ट करना है इंश्योरेंस वाले को पता चल जाता है इंश्योरेंस करना है एवरीथिंग इज इन अ चेन दैट इज कॉल्ड सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट इफ दैट इज परफेक्टली बॉन्डेड यू नीड नॉट टू कैरी एनी काइंड ऑफ इन्वेंट्री और इन्वेंट्री जितना कम होगा उतना ही आपका लिक्विडिटी में पैसा कम लगेगा टॉक अबाउट दीज ऑल शॉप दस दस पंद्रह पंद्रह लाख तो उनको लगा के रखना पड़ता है वो सारा सेव हो गया Then talk about estimation of cash conversion cycle. Cash conversion cycle refers to I started my money in the raw material. वापस कितनी देर में आएगी? और मैं सब को example देता होता हूँ cracker industry का. एक ही time में वापस आती है cracker industry में. That's called the Pavli. सारा साल production चलता है. And whole year after the production, you get only one day whole sale is made or one day or two months or three months. It means your पैसा stuck up for nine months. तो जो बिजनेसमैन है उसको नौ महीने के लिए सैलरी भी संभाल के रखना है रोटेशनल एक्सपेंसेस भी देने हैं एवरीथिंग ही हैज टू पे सो उसका जो लिक्विडिटी का अमाउंट है वो ज्यादा हो जाएगा एक है ट्रेडिंग बिजनेस इधर से लिया उधर से बेचा इधर से लेता तीस दिन उधार में उधर से बेचता है बीस दिन उधार में वो एक भी पैसा नहीं लगाएगा उधर से पैसा आएगा आगे पे कर देगा उसका लिक्विडिटी रिक्वायरमेंट बहुत थोड़ा हो जाएगा डिपेंड्स ऑन आप किस फॉर्मूले के ऊपर काम कर रहे हो Now liquidity funding long term requirement है long term resources से short term requirement है short term resources से dividend decision is something profit को वापस लेना that you have worked in the business and you want to give them the back money to them this is called dividend decision and I'm just trying to because since we are related to SSI so SSI needs to you know refund the money every time so प्रॉफिट को पैसा निकालने के तो मुझे नहीं लगता वी डोंट हैव कि वी वुड बी एबल टू गेट सम मनी आउट वी नीड टू फंड इट फंड इट फंड इट फंड इट टिल द टाइम यू हैव एन एक्सपेंशन इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट आई जस्ट सिंपली से इन वन लाइन इट्स नॉट ओनली बिजनेस इट्स योर लाइफ द बिजनेस वुड कलेब्स इफ यू डोंट मैनेज योर फंड प्रॉपरली it's the life as well we have an example of kingfisher airlines we have the worldwide crisis we have satyam turned we have sahara we have so many organizations thank you very much i hope you enjoyed that thank you so much sir thanks for your feedback that was a wonderful motivation for me in delivering the lecture <laughs> <laughs>